Another shaman. All right, we'll mulligan these. Should you craft Zola or Lanessa first? Zola goes into more decks. So, like, if you're looking to specifically, like, build this deck, I think Lanessa is more important. But if you're just looking to be more sort of responsible with your dust, I think that Zola is a better initial craft. Greetings, friend. Where is Natalie? She's, I think right now she's making dinner. You hear her in, like, dishes or whatever. Pots and pans in the other room. Oh, you guys hear that? I think those are dishes clanking. Let the pain speak to me. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Mm. Don't really have an option. You're in kind of a weird place against, like, Shaman. Like, if you know for a fact they're playing a deck with Acolyte of Pain, there's, like, some contention that, you know, unless you have a buff, you shouldn't even make a guy. But they can just play it, and you don't really have, like, you only have, like, True Silver that can possibly deal with it. Alright, well, I'm glad I have this guy, and I can just Consecration kill this, at least. There's no way for me to, like, weirdly overdraw him, is there? Yeah, I can only make him draw two there. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill... Eh, I think it's still right for me to just kill both here. So I gotta get rid of this before he just gets even more cards. Oh, I did just play my turn four. True. It's not only how to play magic, and she beat me when you when we play. She has played. She learned how to play magic like when we, you know, first uh, got together, really. But ooh, that's kind of annoying. We'll just take a Sunjin. Maybe I should have Potion of Heroism this instead of making a guy? I think the extra guy might be better, though. Potion of Heroism can also, we can use with Pyro to, to clear. Oh, oh, also just equality here and not even Pyro. Like equality, attack, attack, attack. Everyone wants to see different things, you know? Some people want turn four, some people don't. Stop drinking my life, I need it. Um. Primordial Drake is actually maybe pretty good. Eh, he's... Ugh. He's playing, he has Keliseth. Yeah, it's still probably better than, than either of those. I'm gonna have Potion of Heroes in this, too. Oh, T. Melson said, what's up, Kibler? I matched against you earlier today. I was the hunter, you, you, and you were playing Broga Rogue, and you got, you got Rexar like four turns before me. So the funny thing is, I actually had, uh, I had another Rexar in my hand. I uh, hallucinated and got a Rexar. And then I uh, pickpocketed and also got another Rexar. Could you kill this, kill this, and play Lich King? We could clear his board with Drake, but where does that actually put us? Yeah, okay, I think we're Drake. The, the problem is that this isn't like that much pressure, whereas Lich King is like enough pressure that he basically has to cast Hex next turn. Ditto says, I usually don't eat until 10 to 11. Good thing Killer Shooms begins at 9. Gotta cook and see the stream. Well, glad. Glad I can help. Well, there's Agatha. Why did I cut Tyrion? I think Lich King is better. I, I, I kept having like my like late game, you know, value like type minions just basically get trumped by uh, by like acidic swamp ooze when I had Tyrion and uh, and Uther. Oh, just immediate farsight into gluttonouses. Okay. Eh, quality. 
Pyro, Steed. I have double Potion of Heroism, so Lanessa actually draws me two cards and becomes Steeded. But I also have these two Kings, which makes Lanessa into, like, you know, obviously a really significant threat. Yep, there's a Hex. If he doesn't kill this, we may just double Kings it and go. Alright. Warfrog. Oas Frog will be stomped no more. He has been unbenched. The Kench. Alright. What do you drink? For Bestwin Joe. Thanks for the sub. Welcome. Frozen Frog. Okay. Well, we're gonna Lanessa Zola. So, Lanessa will be real big. You're gonna Lightning Bolt it? Oh, just for hand size. I'm like, uh, what? Alright, well, Lanessa... Zola. It doesn't really matter what happens. We're gonna... This is gonna be, you know, double potion. Steeded and double kings. So she's huge. And then we Zola, get another one. One is already hexed once. Obviously has a bunch of... Yeah, a bunch of uh, Hagatha cards, so it's possibly his gets an additional hex. Ooh. All right. Hmm. Okay. That's pretty good. Well, that's two hexes, so... Get Earth Shock, which will obviously just kill her. But... Seven cards. Oh, we can definitely pyro four bells. I think this just goes into here and then he bells this again. Alright, well, let's make him burn Shutterlock. <laughs> I'm the one cackling like a witch here. Go bells! Yes! Oh, that was beautiful! Three hexes? This is what you get. This is what you get for your three hexes. Like a jerk. Alright. I mean, I still could lose is the ridiculous thing, because he has a ton of pressure right now. So my best option is just, like, Paragon, Triple Bells. We've already seen three hexes. Any kind of silence is bad for me. I mean, we could just play a defensive Galvadon. Yeah, I'm just gonna Loot Hoarder Steed Hero Power. Because this has four power. And if he does have, say, another Crushing Hand or whatever removal effect, the, the double taunt is valuable. This gives me Lifesteal, at least, which is part of the reason I was thinking of that. We could potentially even just, like, Paragon, Bells, True Silver cross turns, too. But yeah, my opponent has played three Hexes so far. He still has a Volcano. That isn't, you know, he needs to actually be killing me, because his Shutterwalk's gone and he's almost out of cards. He could Grumble Jaraxxus and play it. That is actually true. Spirit Echo. 
Okay. That's pretty interesting. He's gonna play something. Another bolt. Alright. Can I beat Jaraxxus here? He does just kind of go in on me. Uh, he has to get the Jaraxxus killed, though. Okay. Um, I can truce over the MC Tech and just play Galvadon. Yeah. Let's start with Stealth. Um. Divine Shield. Oh, it can't be targeted, ultimately. Plus attack. Nine six with uh, can't be targeted stealth. Divine shield. Doesn't have wind fury though. But yeah, he can grumble this and become Draxus, but we have a lot of burst now if he does that. Although, mm, taking can't be targeted means that if he does that, I actually can't kill him this turn. Right, off the grumble. If he attacks this. So maybe I shouldn't have taken can't be targeted. did get an opportunity to hit a Wind Fury with this. Paragon Bells? Because we need life. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. It prevents two damage to me. Because my life total is actually pretty important against, like... Do I have to kill this too? He has Grumble. I do have to kill it, actually. Yeah, okay. Weirdly, like, this being in play makes his Volcano bad to, like, clear me. <laughs> we know he has an MC tech in his hand from the Spirit Echo, so he can't play another thing anyway. What was the other thing he got back from Spirit Echo? I've kind of forgotten by this point. <laughs> Lightning Storm. Okay. Ooh, he high-rolled the Galvadon, and that! Ooh, that's really bad for me. Okay, please don't high-roll Galvadon again. Low-roll Galvadon, at least. Oh my god! Double high roll on everything! Am I gonna die? I'm gonna die, huh? If I tear him this, he can just become Jaraxxus, or grumble it. I, I mean, I think I have to do this anyway. I guess he can't replay it now at this point. But he can attack and... He can attack and... Volcano me now, right? and get this back. And we can't Volcano, he's too overloaded. Such a weird game. He's another Glacial Shard somewhere, I think. He has a Mind Control tech. He's way higher in fatigue than me, so like, he can't really play like a waiting game. Unstay- oh, he's not getting Drax's back. Okay, he's got an 8-8. Eight -eight. It's pretty good. At least he can get a 12-12. Feral Spirits. All right. There's my Beetle. Do I need to kill Emerus so he can't just kill this and kill me? I think I do. I think I have to Consecration, throw these two into it. Like, Consecration, True Silver. Yeah. And now, do I make a guy? 
Do I make a guy or do I play Beetle? Uh, we probably just want the tempo from the Beetle. But I do think I think he still has another volcano, so maybe that's wrong. Maybe it's better for me to be making a guy. Yeah, I probably should have made a guy. Oh, that's actually another volcano. Jesus. Okay. Gonna see tech. I think I have to just play Lead Hoarder now, because I need to be able to pressure him. Obviously, if he kills it, then I'm fatiguing more, but yeah, I'm just dead. Man, what a crazy game. We burned his Shutterwalk, and third Hex and Volcano end up getting me. Eh, it was a sweet game, even if I lost. <laughs> That's actually one of the crazy things about, you know, the Shutterbug deck. You just grind so well. Like, even if your your, your combo gets uh, gets neutralized, like, it has the capacity to play, like, a normal game pretty well. That game, I mean, like, the, the fact that he high-rolled both Storms and killed Galvadon, I think, was really the turning point of that game. Because if Galvadon had survived, you know, it's obviously just, like, the difference between winning and losing. If I just have, like, a nine power, untargetable guy, I'm gonna win that game. But, eh, sweet game anyway.